Okay, so I know it's not Monday. My usual upload is Monday, but there's a serious that there is a very serious topic I need to cover. Um, and it's really just this year. And the reason this year's been so bad is, well, you probably know. You probably know why this year's means has just been so bad for everyone. Um, you know the huge power outage that affected like 17,000 homes? That was bad. I, ba I was basically living at my grandma's during that time because she had a generator, so she had power. But if you were part of that, then that was definitely scary. I mean, huge power outage. Very first thing was Australian wildfires. I mean, that was very scary. And uh, America has been heavy, heavily affected by it. I mean, now the coronavirus has spread into Europe, but America has been heavily affected by just this year and I'm not saying it's only America the entire world um that coronavirus recently passed on to Europe like I was saying and uh it's just been a very scary year I mean uh stuff like murder hornets coming people have raided stores and shops for supplies like medicine food it's basically an apocalypse i mean everything has been so crazy everything is just completely out of stock because people have been protesting and like literally raiding shops and hurting each other over this i mean it's not just a virus in quarantine anymore it's causing an entire apocalypse and like I was talking about murder hornets coming into America that's been scary I hope I never encounter one obviously I still haven't but I really hope I don't encounter one that'll be very scary they're like the size of your finger so just on top of all these things like not to mention Kobe Bryant's death I was sad about that for like two days until another thing came in, coronavirus. And coronavirus is the new thing after Kobe Bryant's death. I mean, and his daughter was in there too. I mean, come on, God. That's just messed up, dude. His daughter was in there, was in the helicopter with him. He just randomly died the helicopter crashed i mean i was so sad about that for two days until coronavirus came in and then it was just pure terror for everybody including me and my entire family probably other families too i'm not saying we had it the worst i'm sure there's people who had it a lot worse than we did coronavirus has ruined entire families killed entire families it's just very scary times we've been completely quarantined now now all students are having to do online school cuz normal school has been canceled due to coronavirus coronavirus has ruined this entire country and uh, back to the topic of Australian wildfires the just seeing on the news when I first saw it the poor koalas and baby kangaroos it's just so sad it made me feel so bad for them you know and all these other people firefighters were working so hard but they couldn't they couldn't put out the fires it was it's it was so scary I felt bad for Australia I don't even live in Australia I live in North Carolina and I was really scared for Australia I, I was hoping that they would be fine and it's very scary very scary times but there is some things I can say have been good I mean been a very good year for gaming Doom Eternal Animal Crossing Final Fantasy 
uh, MK11 Aftermath recently came out. Um, but gaming has been good. So luckily that gives us something to do in quarantine. So it is good that game companies have been working hard. I mean, that's convenient because we've been completely shut down. The entire world is just on lockdown, completely isolated. I mean, only essential places are opened. So luckily places still are opened, but they're completely raided. Just com <coughs> just completely raided and stuff. I mean, on, on one note, I mean, at least it, there's still someone who doesn't have to deal with it. Kobe Bryant died, I mean, that that's pretty good for him, because I'm pretty sure I'd rather be dead with everything that's just going on. So many things, I'm sure I'm probably still missing things that have happened this year and I've named everything I can think of and I'm sure I'm probably still missing all these different things I just I just don't only feel bad for Australia I feel bad for the entire world but I feel the most bad for Australia I mean I feel bad for China too because they have it the worst I mean coronavirus god it's just I completely apologize to 2019 about anything I said about it. <coughs> Not to mention Trump's still in office. No hate if you like Trump, but most people don't, so... I mean... The movie industry has been getting destroyed. But I mean, Train to Busan 2 has came out. That's definitely something to look forward to. If you haven't seen the first Train to Busan, then you have to watch it. Best zombie movie I've ever seen. It's great. Um, but that's coming out, so I guess that's something good. If you haven't seen the first one, I highly recommend you watch it. It's, a, it's really good. Um, just, I'm so excited, dude escape this year it's been horrible you know like I'm sure I'm I've already missed so many things about this year it's already been six months we've we've held on tight so far I know we can do this everybody we can do it I I've had a rough time I'm sure you have too um like this video if if you agree with me, heavy, heavily bad times, deadly times, and, um, I'm sure I've probably missed, like, half of the stuff that has happened this year, because there's been so much that I can't even cover it in full in an, in an entire video, because it's just sucked this entire year, there's been so many stuff, like I said, I can't cover all of it in full because there's been so much, but we've hung on for six months. We can go for the rest six, maybe even seven. See, I can't even keep track because it's been a horrible year. Well, we can hang on. Um, if you agree with me, like this video, like I said. If you're new, subscribe. And um, try to make the best out of this year, you know? Bye.